The jar makes no sense. With a confirmed $200,000 budget, they made a steaming pile of shit. The film basically is Paul gets into an accident with an old man. He brings it back to his place. The old man disappears, leaving a jar with a demon inside of it at Paul's house. The demon tortures Paul with a series of hallucinations and vignettes, which drives Paul mad. He's a soldier at war. He's lost in a smoky town. He's crucified. He ends up on Tatooine behind a rock he couldn't fit around. He finds some dead kid in a bathtub and eventually he's driven so mad he kills his neighbor who he's beginning to get with i guess and he passes all the demon to his boss who came to check up on him and it just ends basically this is one of those bad movies with an okay concept that's good enough to get a remake today maybe a netflix film or some sort of streaming service could use this as a concept for a film or a six episode short miniseries no one in this film is a real actor, it seems. None of them are in any other things. And the director, Bruce Toscano, and the writer, George Bradley, also have no other credits and must have just made this film with friends after seeing Basket Case or something. Made in Denver, Colorado, the film was shown in a local theater before being distributed to home video via at Magnum Entertainment. The lighting is terrible. At times, you can't really see what's happening because it's so dark and grainy. It may sound like I'm shitting on the movie a lot because I am... But I will say the soundtrack is way better than it needs to be. It's ambient sounds and almost unearthly tones sets a great stage for the movie to shit all over. It is interesting, however, to read how Gary Wallace, who played Paul, explains the intentions of the film to show inhumanity in any person and how that could pass from one man to the next. It's an interesting idea, which again, I think should be remade properly today by real filmmakers. There's one or two real solid shots in the film, and I do like the use of colors it scenes. The jar is always glowing blue, and even when the demon breaks free, there's always a hint of blue, and you can kind of get a sense of dangers around the corner because, again, the hint of blue will pop up on the screen a little bit, which is a nice little touch. In the car, the main characters have an orange and yellow hint on their faces, respectively, which, honestly, I do kind of like. I'm not sure what the direct correlation of the colors are, but I like the idea of a, of a correlation of colors to each character. I'm interested if there's more thought behind that or not. Side note, I do think almost all the $200,000 was spent on that helicopter because other than that rental fee, this is a six to $8,000 movie budget tops. He also hallucinates a man through a static and for a second I thought the trash man who video dead was there. Yeah, the hallucination scenes are a bit of a weird order too. For example, to go from him watching Static on the TV to him in the desert yelling at people in black clans robes carrying a crucifix for some reason, all of a sudden he's a man at war. Some dude's drinking at a table for some reason. Again, a helicopter shows up and he's at his neighbor's apartment. He gets in bed with her and all of a sudden that's all hallucinations because he's actually in his apartment. And that's not even one of the scenes where it randomly loses color. But a dream within a dream... It's super incoherent, I'm not really sure if that's on purpose, but it's very jarring, you know, j jarring, get, get, never mind. Basically, the film makes almost no sense, but it's kind of an interesting watch. It'll really melt your brain a bit. The VHS is super hard to come by, it's never been re-released, so you can only really watch it online, which is for free online. If you like bad movies, this is the pinnacle of bad horror flicks from the 80s, just sadly it's got zero of either B's. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you aren't already, drop a little subscription down below. Make sure you stay tuned because every day in the month of October, I'm dropping a different horror movie review. Uh, I believe they come at 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. And uh, so keep an eye out for that. And then every week, every other week uh, throughout October, there's a bonus comic video still coming up. I still want to make sure there's still some combo content on the channel. And then throughout the rest of the year, there's combo content every single week, one to two times a week. Plus, I do the YouTube shorts where I post stuff on there every day. I got the Instagram. I got the Facebook. I got the, the Facebook group fans unleashed where you get a behind the scenes look at the the you know, whole channel, everything, Connors Comics, the whole company, all that kind of stuff. So all, all that is linked down in the description below. And again, make sure you subscribe. Keep an eye out for updating daily videos. And uh, until next time, peace.